Hey, how are you, Sifu Kairish? How are you doing? Hi, hi. Yes, fine, fine, fine. Thank you. <laughs> fine, ah. Huh? Okay. I see you got a very nice T-shirt there with some oh. uh, Chinese characters, Mandarin characters, right? Yeah, it, that's my name in Chinese. <laughs> oh, what, what what does it stand for there? Uh, it's it's called Kai Kai Li Zi. It's my name, Kai. which my teacher gave me when I was number one. <laughs> oh. Awesome, awesome, awesome. In fact, I I have this T-shirt customized for all my students. So all my students signing up, uh -huh. its the names will be customized to Chinese. Wow, wow. Okay, I'm looking forward to my T-shirt with the I Chinese name. Mm -hmm. I wonder <laughs> how to put your name in Chinese. Uh, yeah. Last time, there's no Via for Chinese. Last time, <laughs> last time, one of my friends told me my name is Wei Yasa. Ah, then okay, Wei Yasa. Right? Okay, yeah. Wait, yes, sir. Is there such a such characters there? There is such words, la. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna get my 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 t-shirt with the Chinese characters, right? Yeah, okay. I can give you one, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so friends, welcome everybody. Welcome from Facebook, welcome from LinkedIn, welcome from YouTube. Uh today we have here my good friend Sifu Kairish, uh who He's, who is actually a Mandarin trainer. All right. Hello, Mandarin. Hello, Sifu Kairish. Yes, hi. <laughs> ni hao. <laughs> ni hao, ni hao. And uh, everyone here who's here, just, you know, drop by, drop a, you know, heart or a like uh, to let him know that you are around. Okay. And if you can say, just drop by and say hello to. All right. And uh, if you have questions for him, for him to answer later, uh, do, don't forget to drop your comments so that we he will help to answer later on in the show. Mm. Okay. So, uh, Kairish, how are you yeah. doing? How have you been doing with the MCO and all? Yeah, enjoying myself at home. Enjoying, <laughs> huh? Keeping, my, keeping myself busy uh, doing a lot of Zoom, Zoom classes. <laughs> Zoom classes, yeah, yeah, I heard. Yeah. And I heard you're doing a lot of re uh, teaching Mandarin to retail companies, right? Yes. Yeah, why is there such a you know sudden demand for Mandarin from retail companies? Um, when I first started years ago, um, yeah. I was only teaching Mandarin, gen general uh, Mandarin as a general course actually. So like right. let's say if you know Mandarin, you come to me, then I just teach you Mandarin. But right. over the years of teaching Mandarin, I found out um, the retail industry is suffering very badly not knowing Mandarin, and yes. Um, like uh, recently, I just completed a project in Puma. Um, right. I noticed eighty percent of the sales force are. Oh, hi, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> okay, so eighty percent of the sales force is uh, Malays, so Malays and Indians, and of course, okay. it's, most of them are non-Chinese. And then right. eighty percent of the customers are Chinese. So there's okay. a huge gap there, a, a huge pain point. So I was thinking. Um, and then this sales force, they do not have time to go for classes. Right, right, right. Because they're working on multiple shifts, day in, day out. You know how sales people, you know, they, they work in shopping malls and all that. So I was thinking, right. hey, why not help them to, to you know, uh, reap a bigger market share. And then another thing, a Ch a Chinese from China, they are the real uh, uh, buyers and they are coming in from, from Taiwan and China into these retail outlets and yeah. this front liners can't speak Mandarin. So I was right, thinking right, they right. want to help them to speak Mandarin fast. Right, 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 right. Okay. So again, from uh, from Facebook, a few people have said hello, advert, advertise, yeah. Sam, Selvaraj, uh, Rekha, Chandra Mohan. Everyone just says hello, right, to you. Hello. Uh, you can just say hello back to them. And okay, let me just, for everyone's benefit, let me just introduce Kairish a little bit. So as we go global, learning new languages become very important, all right? And of course, Mandarin is one of the widely uh, spoken languages here in Malaysia. So it will do good for all of us here in Malaysia to actually learn uh, another language that is widely spoken by, you know, for our fellow Malaysians. Uh, it will help us to love each other more, right, Karish? Yeah. It's more okay. building relationship than an extra language. Yeah. Correct, correct. So we, today we have Sifu Kairish, a Mandarin trainer, yes, an Indian guy teaching Mandarin to a lot of people, more than 10,000 people actually, right? 
Yeah. Okay. So, Sifu Kairis, how did you actually go into learning uh, teaching Mandarin? You know, it's not way back. Uh, uh, about ten years ago, um, I right. was working with my dad. Um, right. He he owns a furniture company. So right. when I was working with him, then um, someone asked me because because my dad he deals with a uh, uh, praying altars. Then okay. uh, when I then when, when the, um, before teaching Mandarin, do you know what I was doing? You know, I I was a Vastu consultant. Vastu, Vastu, Vastu Sastra. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Interesting. So so I was I was doing that on my own. That was my first venture. Then right. as I'm doing this for one or two years, right. um, I was I was I was asking to myself, what 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 else am I good at? Then I was thinking. Right. Okay, I can. Why not teach some one or two languages? Maybe Mandarin because I can speak Mandarin, English, right. and a little bit of mathematics. This one right. happened all of a sudden. It's not that I planned that I want to be. I want to be a trainer. Uh, okay, I'm going to be Sifu. No, I had no such things. I was just like, why not give some, give give it a shot, teaching something. My first right. uh, student was uh, someone called me up. I advertised on Muda. Who wants right. to learn English, Mandarin, uh, mathematics? Call me. So one, one lady right. called me up. He said, "Can you teach my daughter mathematics?" I said, "Okay, can I just teach?" Right. Then what okay. happened was I left the advertisement. Right. I left the advertisement for three or four months until one more call came in. Hello, right. I don't put my name as uh, uh, Kairesh. I put my name as Sam on uh, Muda. So he said, uh, okay. uh, "Is this uh, Sam?" I said, uh, "Yes." Uh, okay, we are looking for a trainer to teach Mandarin in a in a hotel. Right. So do you have right. experience? Uh, teaching Mandarin, I was like, that time I had zero knowledge on. I have never thought zero, zero. Right. I have stayed right. You just name it. I have zero of everything. Right. So even I do, I do, I do know the protocols of training, and I right. said yes. Okay. I said yes. <laughs> I got experience teaching Mandarin, and then right. they asked me how many years experience. I said Lima Town. I got five uh, years of experience. Okay. Uh, then can you send me your resume or not? I say yeah, can can. Uh, that time I was at home, huh? and then they told right. me. Uh, you give me two days. I'm outstation for training. Once I come right. back, I will come over to your office and send you the resume. In the two right. days, call up my HR friend. I say, bro, please, how to do profile training profile? <laughs> so within the two days, I got my profile done, and then right, company right. train. I put have to put my father's company in company train. <laughs> right, right, right. And uh, they, they they didn't believe because they said at the time I was only about 24, 25, and yes. then they said. Uh, even I brought my friend along. His name is Shan. He speaks right. fluent. He's SPM uh, graduate in Mandarin. So two right. hours. I said, okay, two right. hours. Okay, come, let's dapa project lah. Okay, right, imagine right, two right. Indian guys claiming to be right. Mandarin trainers, and the truth right. is they are not Mandarin trainers. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, <laughs> and we went in for an interview. They didn't want to open the door for us or so. Oh. I said, come on, I said, yeah. get the trainer, you know, we trainer Mandarin. Then. <laughs> <laughs> then they opened. They finally they convinced to open the door. We went in. We sat in the boardroom. This okay. is what happened. Uh, the girl uh, was so still so curious. Holding right. our phone outside the room, talking to the boss like this. He was talking. Uh, hello. Yeah. No. 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 Looking into the room. Imagine you're sitting in the room. Uh, talking, <laughs> talking to the boss. Talking. 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 Looking into the room. Imagine two Indian machas, Mandarin trainer. Nobody would believe. Yes. 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 <laughs> then after she came into the room. She opened the uh, file. She said, uh, in Malay, lah, she said, uh, Saya masih tak caya kamu dorang boleh ajar bahasa Indonesia. <laughs> she said, well, in, in English, it's like, um, I still don't believe that you all, you guys are trainer. Yes, yes, okay, yes. Now, he is SPM and I'm UPSR. We speak, speak right, fluently. Right. And right. she asked us, right. uh, and both of you all just speak Mandarin to each other. Right. He is looking at me and I'm looking at him thinking what to talk. Okay, we decided to talk about her. Okay, we said, uh, look at her, uh, Tudong, then you see, think out if you make up, you see the way she's, she see her dress, you see now she's we are talking Mandarin in front of her, so she don't understand. Right. We were talking that in Mandarin, right? Right, 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 right. Then towards the end, we were telling her if you get dapa dapa terapa terapa lah, mm. she said, wow, y'all can speak Mandarin really good. Okay, this is the project. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> she did, yeah, the, my first project they gave me was Horace Hotel for Dixon, lah. So I was thinking, hey, I just became a trainer overnight. <laughs> right, 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 right. So 
So they, they, they gave me th uh, two or three weeks uh, for the okay. project to start. In that three weeks, I got my friends all to help me. I said, bro, right. please teach me how to be a trainer. I never thought this right, before. Right, 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 right. That's right. where I started. Um, uh, that was my turning point. Lah. The worst yeah. is, I tell you, the worst is when I was teaching the first day of class, imagine I got stage fright. I was so nervous. You know, you yes. know, if you start teaching everything, you start shaking, you just, whatever comes to your mind, you just teach. And then the worst yes. is, I'm, I've never taught Mandarin before. Right. And I always take what my college lecturer tell me. If you teach with a book, right. you're not prepared. Right. So right. I, I cannot hold a book and teach. So whatever comes to my mind, I just teach. When uh, one hour before recess, the general manager came in. The general manager came right. in. He sat down. Uh, it's a Chinese guy. Yeah? So right. imagine I was already shivering and teaching to all these frontliners on hotels. The general manager right. came down with uh, another right. assistant, two Chinese, they were Chinese. Right. So imagine how much right. shivering was. <laughs> <laughs> Gabra la. Oh, shaking. So what I do is I put all my shaking. Imagine there's a, this is the, like a chart, the flow chart. I just yeah. put my hand yeah. next to the, behind the chart. And I was just teaching with one hand. And then behind, this is the chart you cannot see. My hands is just shivering. Right. <laughs> <laughs> And I was teaching and teaching and teaching towards the end break time. I just went forward to to, to them and I asked them, la, hello, Mr. Chong. I've forgotten the name, I just met. Yeah. Um, I said, Mr. Chong, so how was my teaching? You right. know what they said? Right? Your teaching is really good. Right. I said, oh, thank you very much. Oh. Then he said, uh, to be honest with you, I can't speak Mandarin. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking, okay, la, wait, on, lady. <laughs> instantly, I build my confidence in teaching mentoring. Instantly. Wow. I'm thinking, awesome. okay, la, this is my jackpot. Then right. uh, the advertisement in Muda uh, got me another yeah. call. Uh, Hello, Chesem. Right. Uh, uh, kita tengah cari per Chinese class. Okay. Right. Then uh, they, right. Uh, they said yes. You do have experience. I said yes. I have a current current job happening. You want my resume? I can send to you now. Right. <laughs> they give me polytechnic oh. prediction. Oh. I was, so that, hmm? go ahead, but, please. Sorry. So in that one month from like surviving here and there, suddenly I taught in a hotel and I taught in a polytechnic Mandarin from zero. I was thinking, hey, okay, this is an opportunity. <laughs> Right, right, That's right. Why I decided right. to go full fledged into Mandarin because um, the the project they gave me was like very short, one month, and in one yeah. month they had to speak Mandarin. That's right. why, and then in one month they could speak Mandarin. Then I was thinking, hey, why not brand this as a package as speak Mandarin in one month? That's a long time ago. This was how I brand my package. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and uh, so what? Okay, before we go on, right? Just just say hello to everyone here. Hi. Hello. Let me just uh, introduce you, introduce one by one again. Just yeah, yeah, one by one, right? So we have Pritina here, and then yeah. we have we have uh, Saranya, and we have Saranya, right? Sushitra. Okay, mm. and then we have Hazel's here. Hi, right? Hazel. Wilson. Wilson, uh, hi. And then uh, Wilson said, and then we have. Uh, Hazel Stia said, very unique. Many Chinese are bananas. Cannot read or speak Mandarin. Okay. Yeah. So you should think about Sifu Kairis then. <laughs> Hi, Hazel. Good to have you here. Yeah. Thank you. And then we have Jamuna. Jamuna. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And then we have Joanne. Yeah. Joanne is from, uh, from LinkedIn and also YouTube. And Hello. she has her own channel, by the way, a blogging vlog channel. Mostly oh. for travel, right, Joanne? Okay, a shout out to you, Joanne. And then we have uh, Hazel here saying yellow skin, white inside, <laughs> bananas. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Danny, Danny Chu. Okay. okay, he's my good friend from school, Fabian yeah, Fernandez. Yeah. Okay, and then, uh, okay, yeah, so you have a very unique approach. Okay, uh, and also a few people from LinkedIn have also come in and say, Madhu have said hi, Azim. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Madhu asked, okay, um, hmm. he asked how long to learn Mandarin, okay? And then uh, let me just read out the rest first and then you can go ahead and answer them. Uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Radina said, please have more of this session. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hello, Dr. Radina. And Intan says, hello, Yogesh 
says hi guys and Alia. Tato Alia says hello. Hi Tato Alia. All right. Hello Tato Alia. And GD Naidu says hello to uh, kudos to Sifu. Something languages, uh, languages were not a barrier to success. All right. Yeah. Okay. So maybe maybe you can also share right. One of the burning questions for everybody is how long does it take to learn Mandarin actually? <laughs> it can go up to one hour. Okay. To a year or two years. So okay. it depends um, uh, on what is your purpose. If my purpose is to travel to China, right? Then yeah, maybe a few days will do. Okay. But if your purpose is, let's say, every day you're dealing with, um, it is based on your it, it it goes down to your pain point because right. we are non-Chinese people. Like, right. do you speak do, do you speak Mandarin with your wife? Do you need to speak Mandarin with your wife? No, your children. Okay. When I'm angry, yes. Yeah, when I'm angry, yes. Okay, yes. <laughs> I don't know your language, yes. <laughs> so, and oh, then, way, I don't know any Mandarin, okay? <laughs> ah, so, it is not something that you need to master that you can speak daily. So, right, that is right. a misconception. A lot of people think that learning Mandarin, you need to go for like weekly classes for a period of right. six months, one year, until yeah. when you did the, the learning process. So, yeah. I'm breaking that process. So, I'm teaching you what you need to know to help you in what you want to achieve. So, once okay. you can achieve that, it's good enough. Like the right. sales uh, rep, which I taught them, they don't right. need to win in their day-to-day -day life as long as they can engage on a sales call with a customer, right. close the deal, right. job done. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we will be going straight to our lesson very soon. Okay. But before that, a few more friends here have come in and drop by to say hello. Uh, Param. Okay. Uh, Sifu. Oh, so he must be one of your students, I think. No, Param is my schoolmate staying behind okay. my house. Okay. <laughs> and then we have Raymond. Okay, yeah, Raymond also wants. Raymond is from Singapore, all right. He also wants to learn Mandarin. He's my good friend, childhood friend. Okay, and then Asogan. Uh, good to see yeah. you here. Yeah. And then we I have. Vera. I think a lot of your students have come on board here. Today. Vera. <laughs> okay, interested to hear Kyrie's story. <laughs> okay. A very unique story. Okay, so Aja is learning. She's learning Mandarin also. So it should be, should be good. I hope I don't embarrass everybody here today. And then uh, Hazel, Chinese among uh, the easiest languages to learn. Okay, great. Okay, gives me a little bit of confidence to learn after this. Confidence. Easy or hard okay. depends on the teacher. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. This is a good question by Aja. Can we learn speaking only without learning the letters or writing? Yeah, of course. That's why there's this person by the name of Sifu Kairi. She will teach you well. Awesome, awesome. Okay, Raymond here says, no need. I speak Mandarin already. Okay, now I know. <laughs> yeah, that went the wrong channel. <laughs> <laughs> I have met your previous student. They, they, they loved you. This yeah. is by Hazel. Okay, thanks a lot, Hazel. Thank you. Okay, and uh, let me see. Okay, Yogis, I hear Mandarin is very difficult to just pick up and speak. How long does it take to realistically... Take a person with zero knowledge to start conversing. Okay, uh, Yogesh, you'll see it live today, all right? Let I'm zero. Okay. And then uh, Iman Sakina, does Mandarin have different accent or different types? Okay. Yes, it has. It has, huh? Yeah. Because okay. it's some, right. something like Bahasa Melayu. Uh, Bahasa Melayu, we have right. Lorat, Lorat uh, Kedah, Lorat Negeri. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's the same thing. So they have that also for yeah, Mandarin. Like, huh? It's not like one single uh, no. uh, single way of doing things. No, right? Okay. Awesome. Okay. So uh, as long as you can speak, you can connect with Chinese. Yeah. Well said. I think, yeah, that's that's the important thing. Lah. All right. So, Kairish, I am ready <laughs> as it can be to be a student today. Can yeah. you share... <laughs> What should I do? <laughs> I don't have a flip chart, so I only have my hands here. So if you guys are eagerly to learn Mandarin, uh, you can have a pen, mm. pen and a paper. Uh, as I teach, you can write down. Okay, so awesome, your awesome. Pen and paper ready, so I can uh, teach. Okay. Okay. So before I start, I want to share with you a story about um, four years ago, I traveled to Egypt with my family. Uh, we stayed okay. in, uh, next to the pyramid. It's called the Meridian Hotel. It's a very interesting story. All right. So okay. I had jet lag. So, I woke up. I woke up around three or four o'clock. Don't know what to do in my life. Three o'clock, four o'clock. So I just went. <laughs> up. 
just chilling, having a coffee. Somewhere around 5 o'clock, 5.30, yeah, um, I was also chatting uh, with one or, one or two of the waiters. Uh, they okay. were Egyptians, but they speak Arabian and English, that's it. After about right. 5.30, like that, a whole, I could I could hear like an earthquake, you know. I was thinking, duh, 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 duh. I thinking what sound that one? A whole new Chinese tourist flocking into the cafe, into the cafe okay. area. And then these right. uh, pitiful uh, Egypt waiters, they were trying to direct them to see, hey, excuse me, you have to sit here, sit there. So imagine he's speaking English to this uh, tourist. Tourists don't know what's going on, and I'm sitting in the right. middle. Right. right. I was, still, I was seeing the you were right smack there. What was going on. I was thinking, hey, these people really need me. Then I walked up to them. I said, hey, how are you all managing this Chinese uh, tourist? He said, cannot, la, cannot. I really cannot. I said, okay. okay. You, uh, do you have time tomorrow or not? Because I, I'm a Chinese teacher. Then they're like, you don't look like Chinese. <laughs> yes, yes I, I don't look like a Chinese. Yes, it's but I'm from Russia. This profile, I have to look. This is me. I said, okay. You, you just give me uh, half an hour to 45 minutes. You can start assisting this uh, Chinese uh, guest. He said, half an hour. Okay. I said, yes, just give me half an hour. Then um, um, the they, they, they work starts, the shift starts at 5 o'clock. I, I got down at 4 o'clock. So around between 4.30 to 5, half an hour, I quickly uh, taught them the stuff which I'm going to teach you now. And then when the whole okay. earthquake started coming in, these people were like, okay, okay, Niman, okay, Niman, okay, call line, okay. Oh, yeah. no. They were so happy that they could uh, assist the guests. Mm. So, shall we begin? Ooh. Okay. Um, um, today, I will show you uh, the concept of, um, you see, learning Mandarin comes with a lot of parts. First, the first foremost uh, which a lot of people find it very difficult is pinyin pronunciation. When Chinese people are speaking, they speak with the tones. That is extremely okay. difficult, and there's only one way to become good at it. You got to surround yourself with Chinese people. If you do not surround okay. yourself with Chinese people speaking Mandarin every day, pinyin is very difficult because pinyin. there's so many words and so many tones. How are you going to remember? So I'm not going to talk okay. about that chapter now. Right, I'm going right, to talk right. about another chapter. If you understand the chapter. Um, right. Pretty much, you can already start conversing with uh, a Mandarin speaker, and they could understand and right. reply to you without tones. Okay. okay. Um, and I and I always focus on this little secret which I have that enable okay. people to speak Mandarin very fast. So you can just write this down. It is called the S B B technique. Slango. S. Bola. Okay. Venezuela. Slango. Bola. Ah, slango. Bola, Venezuela, Vietnam. Okay, Slango, Bola, Venezuela. Yes, this is All my right? formula. Okay, okay. Okay, so S, B, V. Okay. Right. Let me you cannot move too much in the camera. Things are lagging. Okay, let me, anyway, never mind. Um, okay, S, B, V. Okay, S is subject. Okay. Okay, B is right. uh, bridges. Okay, subject, v bridges. Is verbs. Verbs. Okay. Verbs. Okay. 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 So if um, this is like a, a like a basic formula, and then it, right. it expands from there, okay. from basic until advanced. Okay. Okay. So subject. Um, okay. Uh, another tool which I also use to teach is uh, I use words that you already know. That's why before starting, I want right. to ask you this question. Even uh, viewers watching this now. Right. I'm asking you now, Abhyasa. Right, do you right. have basics in Mandarin? Sorry, again? Do I? Can you speak Mandarin? Me, I can say, I, if okay, I, I think I remember the numbers. Uh, e, uh, San, Se, U, Liu, Chit, Pat, Kao, Sap. Chit, Pat. That word going to come already. Oh, no. <laughs> Did I say the wrong thing? No, no, no. It's okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Other than that? Uh... Overall, you Ni are hao. you really, really zero? I mean, these are the words. I, I know the numbers. I know okay. things like ni hao, se se. Um, maybe I mean, ah, why ni? Okay. <laughs> these are the few words. La. Come on. Everybody should know this, right? Okay. okay. No, these are the no. important words and all the bad right. words. Anyway, right. there are right. certain uh, um, uh, 
in difficult jargons uh, students do not understand, I right. will use more I need to teach. Give you an example. Okay. Okay. Before getting to the SBV technique, let let right. me teach you Mandarin with more I need. Okay. Okay. What is more? I. War means I. Okay. What is I? Love. 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 Me. Yes. You. You. Okay. This is the first secret. Okay. Second secret. Right. You yes. use words that you already know. That means okay. I use language matching to teach a new language. Okay. Like for example, I speak five languages: uh, right. English, Malay, Tamil, Mandarin, Cantonese. Okay. Okay. So, okay, because I had a Chinese nanny lah. That's another story. Right, right, right. So, um, like for example, ni ni is you in Mandarin. How they tell yes. you in Tamil? In Tamil. Mm. Uh. Ni, ni, same lah. It's the same thing, same, right? Same thing. Yes. 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 So, so that's why. Can you see I'm bringing Tamil into Mandarin? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, what I need is I love you. Okay. Yeah. First sentence done. Second sentence. How to tell you love me? Ni, I walk. Straightforward. Ni, right. I walk. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now, let me bring in a Mandarin particle. I okay. love you is what I need. Okay. Yes. How to tell flower in Tamil? Pu. Pu. Pu is called a negative term in Mandarin. Okay. Out of pu yao, pu ke yi. Yes. Pu zhi dao, ah, pu zhi dao, ah. Yeah. Pu is negative. Okay. Yes. So if I love you is what I need. I don't right. love you. Um, uh, let me see. Wo. Pu ai ni. Wo pu ai ni. Yes. Is it correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. This okay. is love is okay. I. So don't yeah. love is pu ai. You just have to put a pu in front. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Mm. So. Okay. So let's see. For example, um, pu zhi dao, right? Pu zhi dao is don't know, right? Yes. How do you say you know? Zhi dao. That's all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I know okay. it. I don't know. It's what puts it out. Yeah. What puts it out? Okay. Chit. What it out? You is me, correct? Yes. You know. Uh, me puts it out. That's all. Ah. Okay. okay. This mm. we are playing with the SVV technique. Okay. 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 Because puts it out is a bridge. Later, I'll show you how it works. Okay. All right. One more word before we get into the SVV technique. Yeah. To ask a question. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just get my brains to rest a bit. Okay. <laughs> You're not prepared to learn Mandarin so fast. <laughs> okay. I'm just putting on my hat to learn super fast now. Okay. Okay. You have to believe that Mandarin is fast. Okay. You okay. see, yeah. All right. Uh, Intan Sakina says, "Wapu kai, pu kai okay. is yeah. cannot." Right. What is can? Kai. That's all. Mm. So I cannot is what who can you? Okay. You cannot. Ni, can you? Ah, ni, who can you? Who can you? You can. Ni, who can you? Right. You can. You can you? Ah, ni can you? Ah, don't don't bring English in. Okay. Ni. Because you are learning at a super fast pace, man. Everything is coming in all over. Coming in, okay. Right. Okay, now let me go down to the basic, the SVV okay, technique. Okay. Right, okay. right, right. What is subject? S is subject, okay. okay. Okay, you write down in a piece of paper. You have a pen and paper with you. I if have, you a, yeah, my notepad not. here. Okay, give me okay, a second. Okay, you don't huh? have it? Okay, yeah, yes. Yeah. Just like that. If okay. you have a pen and a paper watching this uh, live uh, feed, right. Right. you learn stuff. Okay, I'm going to, it's just words, right? Just so I can write it down on my notepad. Yeah. yeah. Give me a minute. Let me make this font. My eyesight is terrible. In fact, you know, I just learned the words ni hao, xie xie, pu yong xie, lai. Joan te, ni zi dao. Ni zi dao. You ready? Uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. You write down this term called, how to tell lady in Malay? Lady, uh, uh, wanita. Wanita, right? You write down wanita. Perempuan? No, 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 perempuan. Okay, wanita. wanita. Wanita, okay, got it. <clears throat> wanita, got it? Yeah. Okay. Wanita, right? So, wa, w, a, a, you remove and you put o. What do you get? 
Okay, Monita. Monita, right? Do you know Monita what lah. is I? Yes. Me is you. You? Ta is him or her. Oh, yes. okay. That means so it's all I? of us lah. Yes, what is I? Right. Wo? What is Wo? You? Ni? He? Ta. Ta is ah, him or her lah. Oh, yes, it's the same thing. Okay, okay. So Got if it. you forget it, just think of Juanita okay. every day. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so easy now, enough, easy enough. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now I'm Juanita you. needs who? Juanita? Juanita perlukan siapa? Lelaki. Lelaki. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, this is called men. M-E-N, men. Okay. Men, okay, men. Men, okay. men is to show plural. Yes. That is, if it is I, is war, what is us? Mm-hmm. Men. War, men. War, men. Woman. That means yes. us lah. Yes, you just put in the men behind. Ah, okay. So, ni men means is y'all. Yes. Taman means is them. them. Yes. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you talk about it English and Malay? Yes, yes, yes. This is cool. Okay. Good, good, it good is quite stuff. impossible for you to forget this. Okay. Yes, okay. Because learning a language, it uh, requires you to remember. So, I'm right, using right, right. to make you remember where you don't okay. have to remember it again. You just know it. Okay. okay done. Subject. Next awesome. one, we, we shall go for bridges. I will teach you okay. two bridges. Okay, there okay. are nine bridges. Uh, okay. I'll teach you two. The first bridge is... Uh, br- okay, bridge is like this. Right. We have positive and negative bridges. Bridge, okay. 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 That means if I teach you one word, the bridge, right. the right. negative word, you just have to put the poo in front. Poo. I give you an example. You know, okay. poo is negative, okay. right? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Correct, correct, correct. Okay, let me show you the first bridge, which is called want. W-A-N-T. Okay. Dalam bahasa Melayu is mau. Mau, So yeah. it's called uh, yao. Okay. Is it yao? Yeah, okay. Yes, Yao is, yeah, I remember that one. Uh, Mahu Don't is Yao lah. Uh, Pu Yao. That's all. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Okay. okay, let's make some sentence. I right, want. Right, right. Wo Yao. Wo oh, Yao. Yeah. I don't want. Right. Wo Pu Yao. You see, automatically you know it. Already. You don't have to look yeah. into your iPad. You yes, want. Yes, yes, yes. Ni Yao. You don't want. Ni Pu Yao. Yes, he wants. Ta yao. He doesn't want? Ta pu yao. That's all. Ah, okay. okay. So we have yao and pu yao. Okay, okay. Basic, because from there we have a lot of branches uh, on a deeper right, level. Right, right. Okay, the second word, uh, which um, is called can. Can. Dalam bahasa Melayu is boleh. Boleh, okay. Okay. Right. It's called ke yi. Ke yi. Yeah, not girly, ke yi. Ke yi. Yes. K E Y I. Okay, that's can, right? Can. Kui. Yao is want. Want. Can, can means is, can. That means I can do. Yes. Is that I what can, it means? Yes, can. Yes, can. Okay, okay. So cannot? Got it. Pu ke yi. That's all. You see, you if you know yao or ke yi, you will yeah. know pu ke yi. You don't have to memorize ke yi and pu ke yi. Right, right, right. Yeah, you just okay, memorize I- one. Uh, am I pronouncing it all nicely? I mean, because like, you know, sometimes the words in Mandarin, there's a lot of the different, you know, uh, tones. all the tones and all. Am I saying it okay? I mean, Pardon? can it be, can it pass as, you know, okay? Okay, what is want? Want is yao. Okay, that is already 90%. Okay. A Chinese okay. would understand you. A a Chinese can. will understand me. Okay. Can, can. can is uh, ke yi. That's all. Your eighty percent, ninety percent. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, okay. uh, if you say ke yi, or ku yi, ah, then yes, it is zero already. <laughs> right, right, right. Yes, ke yi. Okay, okay, so, so yeah. you you can already start making sentences using wanita and the bridges. So we have right. wo ke yi, wo pu ke yi, okay. ni ke yi, pu ke yi, ta ke yi, ta pu ke. You see, we have a lot of sentences you can make already. Yeah. Okay, now let's move on to the third one, which is called verbs, kata kerja. I teach you two. Okay. okay we have time, I can teach you three. Okay, let's start with two. Do you know the fruit lychee? 
Yes, lychee. Yes. Do you know it's a Chinese word? No, I. Uh, it sounds Chinese. <laughs> yeah. Lie is come. Yes. She is go. Ah. Okay. 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 Yes. You, okay. Right. Lychee. Lie is okay. Lie is come. Okay. Lie. I know that. Chi. Okay. Chi. I didn't know actually. Chi yes. means go, so, right? Yeah. Chi is go. But there is a way of pronouncing it. But okay. I'm just giving you a simpler way to pronounce this. Okay. It is called chi. You just have chi. put your chi. But you don't worry about that. Just chi. Right. Finish. Chi. Right. Chi. Okay. Yes. All so right. even if you do not un understand also, if you tell this to a Chinese, let's say for example, right. I want to go. Wo, right. yao, chi, they will understand. Wo yao chi, I want to go. I want to go to KL. How is that? Wo yao chi KL. That's correct. That's it. Okay. <laughs> they will understand you. Okay. Wo yao chi I don't KL. Go to... Sorry. I don't want to go to KL. Wo pu yao chi KL. That's all. Mm, okay, it's I can quite it easy. It's quite easy. Okay, now you remove uh, Yao, you put Kei. I can go to KL. Wo Kei KL. Oh, Wo Kei Chi KL. Yes. If you forget Kei KL, right? If you forget Kei, how do you call this in uh, Tamil? Uh, this one? Mm. The hand. Hands. Um, How do you tell Kai, 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 Kai. Kai. It's the same thing, right? Kai. Yes, 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 yes. So if I want to go, if I don't want to go to KL, wo pukai, wo puyao. Don't want. Oh, I don't want to go to KL. So wo hmm. puyao, uh, chi KL. That's all. Wo puyao chi KL, right? It could be anywhere. Okay. Let's. KL, you don't know, it's okay. You can remove KL and right. put office. I want to go to office. How does that? Wo, uh, I mean, I'm just referring to some of my notes here now. Mm. Wo, uh, yao. yao, chi, office. That's all. That's it. Yes. Wo, yao, okay. chi, office. Yes. If you want to know wow. what is office, I can teach you now. It's even more easier. Right. Office, uh, yeah. how do you tell uh, cinema in Malay? Uh, cinema is uh, panggung wayang, right? Say, uh, panggung wayang, okay. Panggung wayang, right? Okay. Actually, you are telling cinema, cinema lah. Okay, panggung wayang, kan? You take yeah. out the wayang and you right. put shi. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, ah. Huh? Panggung wayang. Uh, panggung wayang. Shi. No, no. You take out the wayang. Right. Take out the wayang. You put shi. S H I shi. So shi. panggung. S H. Oh, shi. Yes, shi. Sure. 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 Where where do I put the share? Sure. Put in put behind the panggung. Panggung sure. That's all. That's office. Panggung sure. Yes. Okay. Let me write this down. <laughs> all right. Okay. 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 Got it. Panggung so I want to go to office. Wo yao chi panggung sure. That's it. They, a Chinese, will understand. I can guarantee you 100%. Oh. <laughs> because they are Chinese watching this video. They can yes. verify. Okay. Can Hazel, authorize. what do you think? Am I doing it rightly, Hazel? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So Raymond says, well done. Thank you, Raymond. <laughs> I you. am learning. I am learning. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's just say hello to everyone here. Okay, sure. again, be, and yeah. let my brain rest a little bit because it's already steaming up already, you know. It's steaming up. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I'm getting old, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, Ashwina says, uh, from these are all from LinkedIn, she says, it seems easy. Yes, it is so far, except it's just heating up a little bit here. And then, uh, Walid Abdullah says, interesting. Uh, Nathaniel says, hello. Gladys De Silva. Wow, I didn't realize that English, BM, and Tamil was interrelated. This sounds easy somehow. 
Sumati yes. says hello to uh, to Hi, you. Right. Okay, so then let's uh, just say hello back again to Hazel, uh, Dina. Dina is laughing. Okay, come on, Dina. I am doing something, right? Hmm. Somebody then, said holy shit. <laughs> sorry? Somebody said holy shit. Holy shit, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, Raymond says, yeah, interesting way of teaching, actually. Using other languages phonetically sounding like Mandarin. Yeah, actually it is. It, it makes me uh, it makes me feel easy to connect rather than it's totally strange. I can connect to things like Wanita and Men and Panggong and all those things. Panggong Shia, right? Office. See? And uh, okay, Pritina says good. Thank you very much. Reka says Fuyo. Yeah, I'm going to speak to you in Chinese after this. Mandarin. <laughs> Okay, Kadirvan says hi, easy. Okay, good, good stuff. Okay, so far so good. I'm doing cool and I can speak Mandarin. All right, Karish. Yes. Okay, we can go on. I, I'm still learning. I'm still, You're still learning, huh? here. Awesome. Still alive. Okay. okay. Um, now let's make it make it more interesting. Now you know okay. the, the formula called subject, bridge, yeah. and verb. Right. Okay. okay, I've got you subject, which is wanita. And then you put a man behind. Man is, let me see, man, man, man plural. is plural, okay. Yes. Plural. So, woman is we, right? We or us. In English, we have we and us. It is the same thing in Mandarin. Uh, man is them. Yes. And uh, wo, I, I, man. Eh, no. Am, no, am I, man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not creating woman. some new ones. Woman is us. Taman yes. is them, right? That's yeah. all, right? Okay. Oh. okay. Cannot be anything else. Okay, <laughs> this okay. is something. Then right. um, bridges, we have learned two. We have positive okay. and negative. Okay. Positive, so, want. How do you spell want? What? Want. Want. W A N T. Want. want is uh, Yao. Yao. Don't want? Yeah. We are. Can? Uh, chi. Eh, no, 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 sorry. Ke yi. Ke yi. Ke yi. Okay. Cannot? All right. Uh, pu ke yi. Pu ke yi. Yep. Let's learn one more word. These are the three main bridges. I can show you three main bridges. Okay. Half. Right. H-A-V-E. Half. Half, okay. Uh, in Malay, now. it's uh, uh, other. Other, okay. okay. Okay, put your hands like this. Okay. Do as I do, huh? Yo. 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 That is called have. Yo. Yo. Yo is the other. Yeah. Okay. I've heard that one before. I've heard the word yo. Okay. Yo. But this one seems to me to remember. <laughs> so you can make you remember faster. Yo. Right, right. Yo. Okay. okay. Don't yo. have. Puyo. No. It's not Puyo. Oh, no. Mayo. Okay. Mayo. Wait a uh, wait, uh. Yo is have. And mayo. Yes. Is don't have. No, this is the only word with me, and the rest is who? How come? Ma? Undang undang, ikut saja. Yeah, ikut saja lah. Taplu, <laughs> taplu bingkai. You also don't know why. You ask a Chinese also, they also wouldn't know. Okay. All right. So we we'll just follow only for this is mayo lah. Otherwise, mayo. by logic, it should be puyo, right? In logic Everything is puyo. right. So, but this one is mayo lah. Yo, the only mayo. exception the may comes in. Yo, mayo. Okay. Okay. How to tell? Um. Uh, come is called lie, right? I yes. Okay. I, in English, it doesn't work that way, eh? but in Mandarin, okay. it works. If you want to tell saya ada datang, in saya? English, it's I got come. But of course, in English, somebody is going to kill me. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> okay. How do you tell? <laughs> In English? Yes. Or no, in no, Chinese? No. Saya ada datang. Green. Okay. Mm. Wo? Uh, okay. Beats me there. Oh, you, oh yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo means is have, right? F, yes. So, I got come. In English, it doesn't have. Wo? Wo, yo. Oyo, lie. Lie. Oyo, lie. 
for your life. Oh, it's different, huh? Yes. Your life. Okay, I have come. Yes, I have come. It's just English structure is wrong, but you know, uh, Malay there is, saya dah datang. Eh, tadi kamu ada datang. Saya dah datang. Ah, yes. So, ah. in Malay there is. Okay. So, in Malay, yeah. is that, uh, the the closest language to to duplicate into Mandarin is Malay. Ah, okay. Saya, I, wait, let me just write this down. Huh? Saya hmm. ada datang. Yes. Okay, actually, wrote, saya ada dating. Saya ada datang, okay. Saya ada dating. Oh, you like. Saya, I, F. Yes, F, you. Oh, you like. Oh, that's yes. different lah from the normal so far, right? Oh, you yes. like. Okay, okay, I didn't come. Oh, may you lie. That's all. Ah, okay, okay. You see, don't have, the, uh, don't have is mayo. Didn't is also called mayo. Don't have and didn't is also mayo. Yes. Eh? yes. Okay. This is a little bit advanced, but uh, to make it easy for you, uh, don't have in English, eh? don't have, which is tak ada dalam bahasa Melayu, didn't. Okay. Uh, belum. Everything is mayo. Oh, yes. okay, okay, okay. So mayo lie. Yes. Mayo, mayo lie. lie means. Uh, that means uh, I didn't come. Yes. Okay. How to tell I didn't come to office? Wo mayo lie. Panggung sya. That's all. Not bad at all. Okay. okay. Do you want okay. Do you want it to be more interesting where you can already start conversing? This is speaking. Okay, let's get into conversation. Right. You ask a question. Ah, okay. You engage into a conversation, you ask a question. Very right. easy. If you want to ask a question, you just right. have to put this one word behind. Okay. Which is called, how do you call your mother? Ma. That's all, question. Okay. That's it. Ma. Ma is to show a question. Okay, okay, okay. That's In other words, if you're seeing a Chinese when they're right. speaking, chong 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 chong, ma, yeah. You know, right. yeah, okay, got it. It it's sounds like a question. Also, yeah. Yeah. It shows a question, right? So, right. how do you tell, like, for example, want, want hmm. is called yao, correct? Yes, correct. Want question mark in English doesn't work, but if you just want to spontaneously ask, how do you say? Uh, okay, want. Let me just check my want. Don't have, don't have. Okay, want. Me. Want. Yao. Yao. Yao ma. Yao. Yes, that's it. Yao ma. That means, do you want? That's all. No, you, okay, if you, do you want, you have to put the knee inside. Oh, knee yao ma. That's all. If not, if it's just me asking, yao ma. Also can. Okay. That's why in Malay, spontaneously, we, we say like that, uh, nah, tak. Yeah, Adil. yeah, correct. Boleh tak? Yeah. Ah, yes. It's yeah. the same thing in Mandarin. Right. So if uh, one question mark is yao ma, do right. you want is ni yao, yao ma. ma. Okay, can okay. is can. Can is ke yi. Ke yi, right. So yeah. can you? Sorry again? Can uh, you? Can you? Ni ke yi ma. That's all. Ni ke yi ma. Ni ke yi ma. Ni ke yi ma. Ni ke yi ma. That means do. Ke yi means want. Want. Right, uh, right? Can. 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 Ni ke yi. Can, can you, you come? come? How does that? Can you come? Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh. Ni ke yi lai ma. That's all. Ni ke yi lai ma. That's all. Okay. Of course, I'm, I think I got to improve my the way of asking. I think the tone. That right? is okay, but uh, if you speak as what you are speaking, yeah. a Chinese would understand. Ah, okay, okay, because they are more forgiving, lah. They someone. are more forgiving, yeah. but they, they they will tell uh, your 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 tone, your tone. Uh, yes, that, that, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Let's okay. Get more advanced. Can you come to my office? How to tell? Ah, okay. Let me just my right, right now, right now, right now. Ni. Ke yi lai panggung she ma. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> now, ni ke yi lai if you're asking ma. me this, I have to reply you. Okay. 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 All right. This is the secret of bridges. 
Right. It's very powerful. The, the, this, this bridges thingy which I created is very, very powerful. If right. I ask you using right. a bridge, right. you reply with a bridge. Okay. All right. Let me, for example, I'll ask you, Kai ma? You reply, Kai uh -huh. or Pukai. Right. The bridge is pool. Is that the, the word pool and all? There are bridges? Yeah, yeah, there's a bridge. Yes. Okay. Yeah, no, what I'm trying to say, if I'm asking you, let's say, for example, do you want ni, right. lao, ma, you yeah. have to reply with a bridge. Okay. Ni, like, yao, ma. So let's say I don't want wo, pu, yao. Am I right? Uh, yeah, wo, pu, yao. Or if you're even more lazy, you just reply with a bridge. Yao or pu, yao. That's it. Oh, okay, okay. Pu yao, yao. Yao, yeah. ma, you just reply. Yao, yao. Pu yao. If I ask you, all of us can do this, man. Yeah. If I ask you, ma, ma, kai, yeah. Pu kai. I reply if you ask me this. Okay. Okay, now I ask you an exercise. Exercise, huh? Right. How do you tell, do you know? Do you know? Ni. Uh, do you ni no? What is no? I don't have that that word no, here so far. You already... No, 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 no. Do you? Everybody know knows this word. Uh, if you know, don't, don't know. How come you do not know? <laughs> come on. <laughs> wait, mao yao is yes. Wait, wait, wait. I want. I. It is not there. It's not there. Yeah. So far. Okay. How does that? Huh? I don't know. How? I don't know. Wo. In in English or what? Yeah, everyone was saying that. Wo pu chu tao. Say, wo pu chu tao. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We spoke about this much earlier, right? Yes. Wo that is the, yes. How do you tell? Do you know? Uh, do you know? Wo pu chu. That is an answer, right? I don't know. Ah, uh, that's I don't right? know. Now I'm asking you. Do you know? So I need to re say that to you. Do yeah. you know? Wapuchitao is I don't know. Chitao is no. Yes, correct. And do you? Okay, do you is hmm. Ni. Ni. Ignore the do. Don't worry about the do. Okay, okay, okay. Ni. Ni chitao ma. That's all. That's all. <laughs> it just goes around in circles. It cannot be anything oh. else. Okay, I think yeah, this is quite cool, man. It's quite easy. Yes. Right, right. Z dao. Oh yeah. Okay. Hazel has given some words here, so Z dao. It's not. It's a dao. It it sounds that way. Okay. It's a dao. Ni cita ma. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh. Uh. The last part. Um. Right. Because um. How shall I say? Yeah. Do you want me to show you some fun words, or not? Before we yeah, end, please. It's fun please, please, please. Yeah. How do you tell? Keep quiet. Let let let's ask people who are watching this live now. Keep quiet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Kais is asking everybody now. What is the uh, keep quiet in Mandarin? Okay. Shamini, so funny you both. Come on, give us some answers, Shamini. We need let some answers. Yeah. Yeah. In Yasa, okay, when you see me, I want you to. Read and speak to me. Okay. Quiet awesome. in Mandarin. Cow. Hazel say dog in BM. Okay. So is it dog in BM? Uh, Anjing. Anjing. What's Anjing? Keep quiet. Lah. Keep... Serious? Serious? <laughs> you don't believe me? You guys. Hazel. Are... This video, if you do not believe me, go to get it to Google Translate. Look oh. up for English, Chinese simplified. You type quiet, mm -hmm. you see what comes up. It is literally A and you're going now. Go, 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 go. Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> Hazel and Fitina, thanks for that, that, that clue. Anjing is keep quiet. Yes, Anjing. Anjing is, Anjing is quiet. Quiet. Be quiet. It, yeah, if you see a Chinese making noise, hey, what? Anjing. That means keep quiet. Oh my God. It's going okay. to be bad. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay, okay. So that's good. That's a new word. That's a new word. Yeah. 
Uh, I think this one you'll remember more than is Yao and Puyao and Monita and all that. You know. Yeah, man. This is the last word that is hanging around in my brain now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. The thing here is you have to speak it politely. Okay. If how how do you say it politely? Yeah. Well, hey, Anjing. Ah, that's wrong. Ah, okay, okay. Put your how do you here. say? It? Put your hands here, and Anjing. Okay. Anjing. <laughs> Anjing. Okay. Now uh, another thing you need to know is pronunciation. J sounds like C. J is C, ra. Okay, yeah, so sounds like C. Anjing. So that means is, an, anjing. Actually, an. Do I say it as anjing or ah, anjing? Yes. Anjing. Yes. Anjing is the correct word, lah. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, But okay. Which right. word is anjing, lah? Okay. I got it. Got it. Got it. Method when I was teaching polytechnic. Oh. When I was teaching all these words, like "kikoi" is "anjing," I didn't know "anjing" is "anjing." No, until they told me, they said, "Hey, Sifu, look like this." I'm like, "Oh, he's not even thinking." Right. People are scolding you, right? Ah, uh, anjing. <laughs> okay, let's try another word. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, mop the floor. Mop the floor. Okay. Mop the floor. So let, 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 I let say, in, "Okay, how to mop okay. the floor in Mandarin?" Okay. Hmm. Okay, over to the audience now. How what is mop the floor in Mandarin? When you come to know Vesa, you're gonna enjoy the laugh. Okay. Okay, I'm waiting. What is mop the floor in Mandarin to the audience? <laughs> Die in Malay. Mati. Yes. <laughs> Okay, thanks, <laughs> Fitina and Hazel. <laughs> Mati is mop the floor. Yes. Okay. So. So how to tell keep quiet and mop the floor? Again, again. How to tell keep quiet and mop the floor? Anjing. Ni anjing. No. Keep quiet and mop the floor. Anjing mati. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh no! Sounds bad, man. There are Chinese people watching. I cannot go wrong. If I'm going wrong, <laughs> they will tell you. <laughs> so I keep quiet and mop the floor. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. That's fun. Okay. So last one. Last one. How do you tell get out? Get out. Go out. Uh, get out. Get out. Mm-hmm. They will help. Okay. How do you say get out? <laughs> Raymond said, "This is so funny." <laughs> Anjing mati. Okay, remember that, Raymond. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh. Get out. Yes. How do you tell wash in uh, Malay? Uh. Baso. One more word. One more word. Uh. Hmm. What I know is baso. Cuci. 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 Cuci yes. Right? Yes, it is called go out in Mandarin. Chuchi is go out. Yes, chuchi. Because you know chi go, that's the chi there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So chu out. Is... Oh, so go out chuchi. Okay, how to tell get out, keep quiet, and mop the floor. Okay. All right, get out chuchi. Uh, anjing mm. mati. Suci anjing mati. That means keep quiet. Eh, no, get, no. Out. get out. Keep, keep quiet. quiet and mop the floor. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, man. This is. Do you want to know how it sounds in uh, Mandarin? Huh? Right, right, right. Okay, how how does it really sound in Mandarin? Chu chi anjing mati. Okay, <laughs> sounds almost the same, man. Aha, <laughs> uh-huh. Kishawalila okay, said, yeah, that's exactly the same thing. <laughs> you see, uh, because I've been teaching for so many years, I managed to have like a basic frame of making someone speak Mandarin very fast. So right, the right. fast way, which is my little secret. Is I use words that you already know. Yeah, actually, yeah. Today, like, I just don't feel like, uh, you know, it's 
it's not daunting like like you know i'm not totally daunting. learning a to- total new language is a lot of um relationship with the current what i know already like english bm tamil even okay yeah okay hazel has asked a question right so hey mm-hmm. kairesh did you study in a chinese school do you write or read chinese yes okay so maybe you can share a little bit of how you started learning chinese when you were young a few people have asked that same question okay i studied in a chinese school when i was in i mean yeah standard one um it is because um i i, I got put into a chinese school out of an accident actually uh okay. because there was no transportation because you see my brother is in an afternoon school i mean morning school so right. uh my parents find it very difficult to send me in the morning and then brother in after it something like that like could be the other way around okay, okay. transportation was a problem right. then others was uh, not, noticed that three doors away from my house um uh is a chinese teacher and right. she teaches in a chinese school right so so father said there yeah, transportation job solved already <laughs> you follow them to school <laughs> okay kenala <laughs> so i got I just went to a Chinese school. Okay, okay. So uh, from Sana One, which is um, yeah, Sana One is Sana Six. I studied in Chanwa. Uh, I'm from Stromban. Anybody right, from Stromban? Right. Okay, uh, from Stromban. So yeah. Sana One is Sana Six. I studied in a Chinese school. Then okay. after that, I went up to uh, SMK. Uh, I was studying in a Malay school as Sana One. Then okay, Sana One lah. Uh, all one. But it's just that. Not to say I'm a, I'm a bright student, but it's just that I put into a Chinese school. My Mandarin, to be honest, is only average. I'm not to say I'm really fluent. It's just that, as I as I said, I didn't study until I got a certification in Mandarin or or some high level stuff like you know HSK. I I don't have all that. It's just that I got into this line out of a out of accident. Right. So and then I saw that my ability that I can speak five languages. Okay. And then and then I had a nanny also. Uh, she passed away. She's from China, so she speaks Cantonese. That's how I picked up Cantonese because she was taking care of us when she was when we were small. And my mom also. So we grew up learning Cantonese. Right. Ah. Uh, so when this. Ah. Uh, yeah. So that's how I picked up Can. Ah. Uh, Mandarin. Okay. Okay. So anyone has any questions for Kairish? You know, feel free to, you know, drop in your questions. Uh, you know, we are going to finish soon in another ten more minutes or so. So, if you have any questions, you know, again, please, this is a good time to, you know, ask him the questions you have. Okay, yeah. So, said, and then Hazel said, which five languages do you speak? Uh, from Hazel, which five languages do you speak? Uh, English, Malay, okay. Tamil, Mandarin, Cantonese. Right. Okay, so it's Mandarin and Cantonese as a Mandarin and Cantonese. Right. Awesome. Great, great. And then Yugen has asked, when is your next master class? Do you have okay. anyone coming? Um, up? when I first started teaching Mandarin, because I want once I got into this industry of teaching Mandarin, I noticed a lot of people. Uh, right. I mean, not the people. A teachers training centers are teaching. If you want to learn Mandarin, you have to learn the correct way. Which right, is right, uh, right. how to you know pronunciation, pinyin, and then you have to learn how to write and then read. It is that whole. I I and I enrolled myself into Chinese classes to see how they what is the actual process, which yeah. is really really daunting, yeah. very very daunting. And then okay. is what, but that is the correct way to learn Mandarin because right. I went through That's that. That's way now. That is the correct way to learn Mandarin, but it is okay. very very time consuming and. Yeah. And many people they, they they drop out they drop out because they want to learn Mandarin they go for a class right. and it's not right. exactly what they want to learn. Right. I noticed this and then myself, right. I, I I I like things short and sweet and fast. That is my style. Anything I, which I do, I like it short, sweet and fast. Me too. So me if too. I can find a shortcut, that will be great. <laughs> so yeah. so thinking, hey, I can after doing these two projects. I was thinking, hey, why not I teach people to speak Mandarin, just conversational Mandarin. Right. Uh, I don't teach them reading and writing, and then I just use pinyin. Pinyin is the romanized uh, pronunciation of a Chinese character. Right. This is good enough, really. Then that that's how I got into this line of teaching Mandarin, and my program was speak Mandarin one month. I don't know whether you've seen me hanging buntings or or on scale or not speak Mandarin one month. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, for the past uh, 2012, I started teaching Mandarin. Uh, I had a few centers, and then I shut down all my centers, and I decided to 
not just be a teacher teacher where you run classes i was thinking yeah. if i can make someone speak mandarin fast why do i have to uh enclose myself with a small group of class of 10 or 20 students yeah one teach to hundreds of students yeah. but i don't know whether i could do it or not right. this is where i decided to run my first event which is uh, on a 2017 2017 25 november uh, some students are here they're watching they, they know my my first event i thought about 120 students to speak right. mandarin single wow. day in a single uh, day in a okay. single day so i thought this this unique formulas which i have like uh if if, if it's okay we can have like a live, live session teaching how to master numbers very fast yeah 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 so, that would be good yeah. so then after that i had uh, another master class it's uh bring about 200 200 300 400 you eventually went up 500 students yeah. speaking mandarin in a single day so i was thinking hey i want to then i realized hey a lot of people want to learn mandarin but then they cannot commit themselves for classes and here i am i'm making someone to speak mandarin in one day right. i can say 50 to 60 percent of the people enrolling to my class is to check me out right 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 what can learn in one day what can learn in one day no, this one. Huh? <laughs> yeah that's where yeah so that, that that's why i stopped doing classes and i started doing master classes right and i'm using the same technique to help uh, corporates also to speak Mandarin in, in a day or two. Yeah. yeah. Well, because if you're going to learn, I think for six months or so, it's pretty daunting. Uh, I think for a lot of people, they don't have the time and the energy to keep, you know, going and, you know, just taking up time for classes. So if you can learn it in a short while, I think why not, right? Because I, I noticed another thing, uh, yeah. because I've done programs like for one month, three months, six months, even a year. That means everyday classes, not, not say everyday classes, two week, two times a week for one whole right. year. Yeah. And in one whole year, the students still cannot speak Mandarin. So is it, oh. is it, that's what I was thinking to myself, is it because of me or is it because of the student? Then hmm. I I did a few interview with a few students. They told me, no, Sifu, you are teaching it right. It's just that we don't speak it often. Then okay. I, I found out on problem. I found out the, the, the main thing here. Yeah. A lot of people want to learn Mandarin. Right. But it is only when that time comes. That's where you just wish. When the time, of, time of need. Uh. Yes. Mm. Let's say, for example, um, how often do you change your tires? Once a year? Not even, not even that, I think, sometimes, because I don't travel so much. Yes, Maybe like two years. Like, for example, you're going to a Chinese restaurant, you're going to a Chinese you, um, accessory shops, or, you know, uh, Kadai Runchi or anything. Yeah. So when the time they spend, they are conversing, that's where you just wish you understand. Yeah, true. true. So that moment doesn't happen uh, a lot of time every single day. So but when that time comes, right. at least you understand. I'm, I'm mm. focusing on that. Right, right, right. That's why I always tell my students not to focus so much on speaking. Even though you cannot yeah. speak, it's okay. At least you understand. Right. Mm. Okay, okay. Got it. So let me just see if there's, you know, there are do you train teachers? Yeah, from Melanie Lim, right, in Puchong. She's actually my my son's teacher, right? So the question is, do you train teachers? Yeah, yeah. I got, I got st uh, teachers studying with me. Okay. Non-teachers. Non right. I mean, I don't teach teachers how to teach Mandarin, but right. teachers wanting to learn Mandarin, I can help. Okay, great, right? So... Uh, yes, I was there on 25-11 from uh, Shwalila. Shwala, yes. Okay, Shivalila. And, uh, and she said that uh, till now she remembers how to, <laughs> how to speak in Mandarin. All right, awesome. And uh, I want to find such a teacher for BM and Tamil. Yeah, I think oh. there are some requests already for BM and things like Tamil. Yeah, if you can teach Tamil in one day. <laughs> I need to teach my children now. <laughs> They're horrible in Tamil. <laughs> okay, so, uh, I'm looking for opportunities, like um, maybe if you know any Tamil schools or Malay schools, uh, yeah. you know, schools, they, they can gather all their students, they can come over and um, give like a one-hour session, make them speak, at least they have the awareness. You know, really yeah, connect. Yeah. I, I can do a uh, contribution. I can come and give a teach. You know, we, at least yeah. they have the at least they know the language. Okay, yeah, it's true, true, true. 
Okay, so uh, Hazel asked if it's recorded. Yes, it is recorded, Hazel. Okay. But it's chargeable uh, to see the recording again. <laughs> no, 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 not with me. It's free. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me just take some questions from LinkedIn. Uh, let me see, Tracy, from Tracy Leong. Uh, can you try to learn Hokkien and Hakka also? Yes. Um, I will be, I'm in the midst of writing a book, uh, three more books, four more books. Okay. Uh, we're done. The book is okay. already ready, but I'm doing an audio version of the book. I'm teaching okay. uh, Cantonese, right. uh, Hakka, Hokkien, and Teochew. Awesome. Great, great, great. I think I'm doing an yes. audio version of it. Just for everybody's knowledge, uh, Kairish, Sifu Kairish here has also written some books, all right, and he's also launching some new books, I, I heard, right, coming up? Yes. Okay. Uh, Sumati asks, do you uh, have online classes from LinkedIn? Online classes from LinkedIn? No, 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 sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Sumati is asking in from LinkedIn, <laughs> do you have online classes? <laughs> uh, yes, I have. Have? Okay, yeah. so maybe uh, later on in the comment section, lah, you can share some of your comment, your online yeah. classes, lah. All right. Uh, Cheryl with us says, do you uh, do you teach in Seremban anymore? No, I don't teach. I was teaching in Seremban for the past four many years. I was five, four or five years. I was teaching. Okay. I don't teach in Seremban anymore. Even students, people from even I'm from Seremban. Uh, right. If you're from Seremban, you want to learn from me, you have to come to KL. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, now you're based in KL, right? Yeah, because when I do my classes in KL, my master classes, uh, there are students coming in from uh, Kuantan, Ipo, Taiping. They, they really travel all the way down for my one day master class. Okay. Mm. All right, good to know. And uh, and Mel Fauzi says, Thanks, Sifu Karish, for simplifying learning Mandarin and Vyasa for organizing these sessions to us all. Now, I now. I now agree that learning Mandarin is easy. Okay? Yes. Mel is an entrepreneur uh, right now who's based in, uh, if I'm not mistaken, either in Ireland or London. Okay. Oh. Uh, she's based there. She's in the hotel line. Hey, that's uh, great. I need to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, okay. So Anand says, if you need audio help, please let him know he's a sound engineer. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, and then... Uh, Somebody asked, do you, Anand asked, do you teach one to one in Subang Jaya? Uh, no, I don't do one to one. Okay. You don't do one to one, right? Yeah, mm. okay. Let me just see some more questions. Uh, you have a knack in making this funny by Intan. Uh, and then uh, Sumati has said, Vyasa is a good student. Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh, my, my, my brain is already freezing up. Luckily, you know, I couldn't take a little bit more. Let's go for a hot hour. <laughs> I, I just need to take. First and then I can continue again. Do you want to have another session? I don't know. You ask them and see. I don't mind. Yeah. We, um, okay. Do you all want another session sometime in maybe in one week or two weeks time? Uh, if you if you like, you can just drop by, uh, say yes, and then I will get Sifu Kairish to teach here for free. Okay, <laughs> free lesson. <laughs> uh, yes. Somebody said. Anand said yes. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the sharing. Uh, let me see any other uh, questions I ask. Okay, Gladys says I'm an excellent student. All right, thank you, Gladys. <laughs> I know, I know. I know. You know. <laughs> the the best is you you are um you are already starting to speak over the net with me without meeting me. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, I think that was so cool. Uh. I didn't know it was like that easy. You know, sometimes mentally we have a lot of, uh, you know, things saying you know, it's a little difficult, you know, you know. Yeah, and then I, you have never really of, get I have a lot of students coming in. They they have a lot of uh, limiting because yeah. I'm so far I'm speaking already. <laughs> right, right, right. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought it was quite easy. I think some of the key words that I think you will use in any languages to talk and then you know, I've learned it here in... in uh, with uh, simple English and BM uh, sounding words, right? Yes. I, I use words that you know, then it's easy. Like Cantonese, okay. I, like for example, I can teach uh, Mandarin with Tamil. Do you want to learn one, one word now in Tamil? Yeah, yeah. Please. For example, yes. how do you tell I'm sorry in Mandarin? Okay, students watching, students watching do not help. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, how, okay. How do you speak? 
Luda, Tui. Luda. Ya, yeah, speed. Tui. Luda, Tui. 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 Yes. Okay. How do Tui. you tell insect in Tamil? Uh, Erembu means is, uh, is No, the, the normal one that we say every day, insect. Puchi, puchi, puchi. Puchi, right. Okay, yes. speak to the insect. Puchi tui. Spit at the insect. Tui puchi. Yes. Tui puchi is... I'm sorry. Is, what is... I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> tui puchi. <laughs> okay, okay. So now I remember that for sure. Puchi I'm sorry. Tui puchi. Right. <laughs> you just knock him. Tui puchi. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all yes. right. Okay, so now I know. I think I'm sorry is a big important word to learn yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Tui puchi. Okay, so there's a lot of requests here also mm -hmm. uh, to learn Tamil, right? If you can teach Tamil, you know. Tamil. Come on, Karish. <laughs> so if anyone here, anyone mm -hmm. here who's listening in uh, can teach Tamil in a simple way, Please let me know. I like you to have you on our online show, right? Yeah, Anyone can teach Tamil in a simple way. That is like this, like how Sifu Karish teaches Mandarin. Uh, please let me know. I love to have you on board for the show. All right. So please, uh, you know, just comment and or, or just get in touch with me. All right. For sure, at the end of the show. And uh, I think uh, Sifu Karish, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, so do you have anything, uh, you know, any words to share before we end the show? What are the words you wanna? Mm. Uh, no, no, not not the words, not the words. But just any words to the audience that you want to audience. share. Uh, you know, you want to say something to the audience, and before we end the show today. Mm, I can teach you one more word, and then uh, okay. then I'll give some words to the audience. One more, one yeah. last word before closing yeah. with. Thank you. Yeah. I want to tell thank you. You're gonna start laughing. Thank you is. Uh, CC, not CC, CS here. Right. Yes, here. CC is a different word. CS here. Right. Yes, here. Oh, CSA. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Correct, correct, correct. I'm yeah, right. pronouncing it wrong. Like, if you forget, okay. yes, if you forget, yeah. this is where I my students put your hands like this, put your hands like this. Okay, wait. Let yeah. Me see. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, put an yeah. S in front. Yeah. CS here. CS here. CS here. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Okay. Yo. No, this is the best part. Uh, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Anjing, okay. Mati, Tucci. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Um, uh, another word that um, uh, if someone tells yes, yes to you, you want to reply, right. you're welcome. Okay. Okay. How do you tell that in Mandarin? Yeah, okay, that one. Ways. Okay, but okay. But to you, one way, you, uh, this is more than enough, really. How yeah. do you tell small, small, Bird hmm. in Malay. Burung kecil. Burung kecil. No, burung burung kecil. Burung kecil. Burung kecil. Gen, ah. Generic term lah, normal day to day. Burung kecil. Right. right. Okay. Burung kecil. Yeah. Kecil you maintain. You have burung. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Burung R. You take out the R. You put the Y. What Buyong. do you get? The Buyong. Burung kecil. Yes. Burung kecil. Kecil, 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 kecil. Buyong, buyong kecik. Yes, B, but the B sounds like P. Oh, puyong, puyong kecik. Yes, that is called puyong kecik. And what does it mean actually? You're welcome. You're welcome. Puyong kecik. Apa kecik? Puyong. Puyong kecik. Puyong, puyong apa? Kecik. Puyong kecik. Kecik. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so thank you, Sia Sia. You're welcome is puyong kecik. Okay. Yes. Puyong kecil. Okay, yeah. now I know because sometimes people say yes, 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 but I don't know how to respond after that. Yes. There's no such thing as you are Just welcome, right? Burung kecil. Burung kecil. Burung kecil. <laughs> burung kecil. Don't say burung kecil lah. Huh? All right. <laughs> that yeah. is terrible. Okay, so right. for uh, before we end the show, uh, you know, for anyone, you know, um, you can always say, you know, send a heart and like to Mr. Sifu Kairish here. Please do follow me in uh, YouTube and um, yeah. um, I just look out for my name, Sifu Kairish, in YouTube. Every day I'm posting one video and any okay. videos that you want me to make, I can create and make and give it to you. So no problem. Yeah. And and I'm looking forward uh, to help 
if you are you if you are you are in the retail line and you're in the hotel line i'm the best person for you <laughs> okay yeah yeah truly like you know it's quite a simple way to learn i think you don't feel so daunted uh yeah. to learn something like this it, it's there's a lot of connection with what we already know uh thank you again karish thank you very much for being thank here you. and I, i definitely learned some new words in a fun way uh you know i didn't expect anything like this i came in i don't if, if you're having a stressful day yeah sign up stressful. for my master class <laughs> oh it's fine yeah <laughs> okay 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 <laughs> cool you're laughing from starting until the end i think that's the best way like you need to have a bit of entertainment while you learn i think then yeah. you can remember a lot of things Because and it hangs on right you told me yeah. long time ago i remember this what you taught me you taught me the the human mind they learn when my the mind is relaxed yeah when you true you relax you learn fast i think you told me ah uh, so i'm using really? that maybe whatever okay. but i remember you told me this you know mind is relaxed you learn faster it's very true it's very true garish uh, i think today i had a lot of fun even though i'm just put on the spot um, it was a lot of fun because we you related with a lot of you know funny words and all those things so it's pretty easy for me to remember yeah all right so thank you thank you very much uh thank you very much so uh, susitra said after mco she's going to invite her friends her chinese friends out for dinner <laughs> <laughs> okay so you don't have to speak to them right <laughs> oh yeah that's, it- that's, uh, okay if you are uh, inviting them for 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 food and all that you can pretend that you're flown in mandarin eh? you just learn these two words Okay. Do it. Quick one, we are saw one minute. Just give it to okay, me. Okay. Um, remember, you, you can write this down. It is called chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Yes, chicken. Okay. Nuggets. Okay. Okay. If you need chicken, right? Nuggets. Okay. It is a Chinese word. Right. Okay. Speak with me. Chicken. Chicken. Naka. Naka. That's it. Not naka, naka. That is Tamil word. Don't bring that Tamil word. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is it again? Chicken, naka. Chicken. 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 Chicken, naka. Naka. Not naka, ah, uh, naka. Yes, naka. Naka, right? <laughs> no, not naka. <laughs> yes. What does it mean? Ah, uh, what does it mean? Is called this. Naka is called that. Chicken. That means this and that. Yes. Okay. Sometimes What you know when you conversing with normally when you you if you hear Chinese conversation they have to point here and say this chakka yeah. and the nak chakka ah. nak chakka Okay 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 okay. <laughs> okay so if your friend uh, who where, where's who who's the person saying going to a restaurant Sujitra Amitra so you just go to a restaurant you just yeah. let the waiter comes and ask yeah. excuse me what do you want to eat you just have to tell wayao chika ah wayao chika ah wayao chika 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 naka chika chika naka okay <laughs> okay that's easy <laughs> now <laughs> oh, yeah cool because you can order easily right mm-hmm. okay so kairish thank you so much sifu kairish here uh, he's a mandarin teacher again uh, he teaches corporate and um, individuals in doing his master class and all uh, you can always get in touch with him okay uh, later we will uh, kairish you can just drop by and you know put up your link there in the comment section mm, okay yeah, for sure. your you know uh, again audience uh, friends you have been wonderful you've been asking so many questions i'm just falling off my chair laughing uh, you know with all the things <laughs> okay yeah, so me. thanks you can talk to me in linkedin yeah Yeah, he's also available on LinkedIn, right? He uh, he has a YouTube channel. See, you just look for Sifu Kairish uh, in LinkedIn. Also, Sifu Kairish, right? Everywhere, Sifu uh, Kairish. Everywhere, everywhere, Sifu Kairish, right? Yeah, you can speak to him uh, and reach out to him personally, right? Uh, yeah. He's definitely very approachable. All right. So thank All you right. very much. Bye bye. This session will be recorded, so you can always come back and see the session again. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.